Christmas Eve present your parents could have. I bet they can't wait to get home from their skateboarding trip. Snowboarding trip, Gran? That too. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Gran! We love you! Oh, I love you too. It's been great having you visit, Yasmin. Sasha. Uh, I'm Yasmin. Oh, oh. <laughs> of course you are. Merry Christmas. And you too, Chloe. Um, I'm Jade. That's Chloe. Deary me, I never doubted it for a second. It's them! <laughs> Well, hello. It's your parents. We we you, you, got you got it. it. <laughs> yes, they're all ready for you to pick them up. Yay! <laughs> you are? <laughs> it is? What? My goodness. Oh, how long? Oh, my. <laughs> What's that? I can hardly hear you. All right. Call us back as soon as you can, and Merry Christmas! Gran, what is it? <sighs> snowed in at the airport? When will they get snowed out? They're hoping tomorrow. But they said it might even be the next day. Tomorrow? The next day? Well, the storm is making so much noise. Well, I could hardly hear them. We can still have a wonderful Christmas here. I love Gran, and I love it here. But here isn't home. It's Christmas Eve. This is the day I always wrap presents with my mom and dad. We always cut out paper snowflakes. We bake cookies. We put up lights. We've always had Christmas at home for years and years. Ever since we were two. Oh, I'm so sorry. But you know... Sometimes doing old things in new ways can be a real adventure. An adventure? Why, certainly. Tell you what, we'll do presents and snowflakes and cookies and lights, and I promise you it'll be like no Christmas you ever had before.
you like to do this joyous Christmas Eve? This has been joyous enough. Oh, you poor dearies. You miss being with your parents. Yeah. Times like this. My grandma used to say, you don't always get what you want. But sometimes, if you make the best of what you've got, you can get something even better. All I want is for the storm to stop so our mummies and daddies can come home. I have an idea. What if I take you to the shopping mall to talk to Santa Claus? Would that make you feel better? <laughs> Santa? Himself? Right now? Well, certainly. Okay, what could we ask him for? We already sent him letters as long as the phone book. Hey, we could ask him to keep the presents if he'd just bring our moms and dads home for Christmas. Deal! We're very sorry for the inconvenience. On Christmas Eve, Santa is always at the North Pole, getting ready for his flight around the world. Ha! What a con! I know he's here. I'm gonna find him. We got a little score to settle. Uh, now, uh, William, don't you think we should go home? No way! The big guy's mine! You hear that, Kringle? You can run, but you can't hide. These guys made me get a flat tire. Boss, I swear it wasn't my fault. Of course I'll pay you back every penny I owe you. Just give me a little time. Hello? Hello? A hundred grand gone, thanks to you, Dimbo! Oh, Max, it wasn't our fault. You kicked the tire and popped it. Cause you made me so mad that I had to kick something! We, we just gave you some Christmas candy. Jumbo double fudge patty with a nice Santa face on it. You put it on my seat, and I sat on it. And it melted and glued me to the chair by the time I got unstuck by what car we were supposed to stick up was gone! Okay, okay, so next time we won't unwrap it. Stays fresher that way. Yeah, who wants stale fudge for Christmas? Oh, Christmas, you! We got till midnight to make that money back, or we'll be hanging by our toes from the boss's Christmas tree! Oh. All right, here's the new scam. I'm gonna pretend to be Santa. Kids will come up with their mummies and their daddies and tell me all the stuff they want for Christmas. Meanwhile, my elves pick the parents' pockets. Got it? Yeah, yeah, sure, Max. Yeah, got it. Ha! There he is! Stick a sock in your mouth and put them hats on your heads. It's showtime. See? Told you I'd find him. Ho, ho! Ho, ho! And what would you like for Christmas, little boy? Don't ho, ho me with that bowl full of jelly stuff. Uh, now, William, <laughs> be nice. Was it nice when all I got last Christmas was 12 pair of red flannel underwear? What kind of lame present was that? I emailed you my letter clear back on Halloween. I asked for a bike and a skateboard and a TV. Where did I say underwear? Do I look like a kid who's into red flannel? Do you think long johns are my idea of fun? Read my blog. I send you the list, you check it twice. Hello, North Pole. Are we communicating? Do we have a problem? If I even smell flannel under the tree, I'll put rocks in your Christmas cookies. Are we on the same page? No, underwear! Get it? No, underwear! One more Christmas like last Christmas and we're gonna rumble! 
Now, William, Santa needs to rest. He's got a big night tonight, remember? You don't even want to know what happens when I get ripped off. Ask the Tooth Fairy! Santa will be back in a minute. Ralphie, Reggie, how do we do? What do we get? Do we hit the jackpot? One dollar? Two dollars? What jackpot? This? A real soldier Smitty raging rocket launcher? A rootin' tootin' we won't control tough tank! A genuine Mr. Bacteria Biochemistry set! Oh. A double white butterfly blue in the dark yo-yo! What I always wanted when I was a kid! What are you doing? Uh, Santa, we never got stuff like this for Christmas. Yeah, we never got anything for Christmas. We've been on Santa's naughty list since we were four. You don't start acting like real crooks, you'll end up on the boss's naughty list! <laughs> and don't call me Santa! Um, that wallet is that kid's dad's. It had about a thousand bucks in it. <laughs> what? Oh, hi, boss. I didn't know it was you. How's business? <laughs> yeah, well, not so good. The boss wants whatever we've got now. Listen, oh, you think we could have a little more time? Oh, like maybe until New Year's Eve? Now, boss, remember what happens when you get that angry? I was robbed. Hey, you and the bad beard. <laughs> on a milk and cookies break? Excuse me, uh, where is Santa Claus? Oh, he's not here today. Not here? We're sorry for the inconvenience. On Christmas Eve, Santa is always at the North Pole, getting ready for his flight around the world. Oh, no mom, no dad, no Santa. I give up. Me too. I say we just forget Christmas. Yeah, let's go to bed for a long winter's nap and try again next year. Whoa, whoa, look! It's him! After him! Come on, Grand! What? Where? After who? Incredible or what? Yeah. The incredible is. That's the kind of toy that's so awesome, you'd be afraid to ask Santa for it. Or your mom and dad. I want to ask Santa, but he's not here. And I don't have a mom or dad. Where do you live then? Summer house. Other orphan kids, nice place. 
But we don't get anything like that for Christmas. Well, we're looking for Santa, and when we find him, we'll tell him that you're... Zachary! <clears throat> there you are. Don't wander off like that. You scared us. Come on now, it's time to go home. We really have to find Santa now. And tell him about those kids. I'm not gonna be able to deliver this Christmas. He can't deliver the presents? No Christmas? We gotta talk. Santa! Wait! Sorry you didn't get to talk to Santa. We tried, but we never got a chance. And, and now, well, now we don't need to. Christmas, dearies. Christmas isn't happening, Gran. Oh, I'm so sorry things haven't turned out the way you hoped. I remember every Christmas when I was a little girl, I wanted to see Santa, too. I would sit right next to the fireplace waiting for him to climb down the chimney. Did you see him? I wanted to, more than anything. But I never did. I always fell asleep before he got there. <laughs> Still, I didn't let it spoil my Christmas. Good night, my dears. Oh, I hope you have sweet dreams, full of gingerbread and candy canes and Santa climbing down the chimney. Nobody's climbing down the chimney tonight. We will see. <sighs> no. Someone will climb down the chimney tonight. mechanical reindeer. Come on, Taco. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. And in local news, 
the holiday spirit is everywhere this Christmas Eve, especially at the North Pole. Right, Jan? Right, John. And that's where we are tonight, the North Pole, where Santa's all set to deliver a very special present to some very deserving kids. Hey! Hey, look! The orphans of Summer House are going to get the season's hottest toy, delivered by the big guy himself. Summer House. That's where that kid lives. What kid? Zachary. The kid with no mom and dad. Who says dreams can't come true on Christmas? <laughs> oh, and John, the only question is, will Santa put this one in his sleigh, or just hitch his reindeer to it and fly it to the kids of Summer House? Oh, poor Zachary. This shouldn't happen to those kids. Wait, who says it has to? Santa, remember? He said Christmas isn't happening. Yeah, but only because he didn't have enough elves. So? So, maybe we can get him some. Well... Is it me? <laughs> An elf hat? Wait a minute. Us? The elves? Why not? Name one thing about Christmas we don't know. Um, okay. I am totally no good at doing that curly ribbon thingy on packages. I can teach you. Come on, we've been doing Christmas since we were two. We're sure to get hired. Hired? Where? The North Pole? Where else? Go to the North Pole? Can we do that? We've got to for those kids. Just because we can't have Christmas doesn't mean they can't. Let's do it. People, feel the tinsel. <laughs> Perfect. Just in case Gran checks up on us. Think we ought to check on Gran? Good idea, cool cat. Aww. All tuckered out. way we can get to the North Pole. Reindeer, what else? The way Grant supercharged the battery, this thing ought to run halfway to next Halloween.
God is two dollars thanks to you. What can we get for that? One eggnog and three straws. Eggnog? It's our favorite when we were kids. Oh, oh, can we have some cinnamon sprinkled on top? Merry Christmas. Hear that? He said Merry Christmas. <gasps> Ah, oh, now, is that the kind of thing Santa would do? Yeah, when he's having the worst Christmas of his life. <laughs> no money, in trouble with the boss. About to be arrested, and all thanks to you two dim bulbs. I got half a mind to... Hey, pay attention when I'm chewing you out. Oh, wow, what I give to have gotten that when I was a kid. Santa's all set to deliver a very special present to some very deserving kids. Not only is Santa bringing the Summer House Orphans a surprise present, there's a surprise inside the surprise. A donation of a million dollars from an anonymous hip-hop recording star who grew up an orphan himself at Summer House. A story that could only happen on Christmas Eve, John. And to all a good night. Boys, this is gonna be a Merry Christmas after all. We're going to the North Pole. And what are we gonna do at the North Pole? Let's just say we're on a mission of mercy. To take from the rich and give to the poor. Namely, us. You mean steal the orphan's Christmas present? Oh, you wouldn't. You couldn't. I would. I could. <laughs> and I will. Oh, Santa, crime is one thing, but this is... Uh, criminal. Fine. I'll just call the boss and say you guys bail. Ah, uh, now, wait a minute. That you didn't want to pay back the hundred ray you lost. I thought you would. And don't call me Santa! Well, um, I, I say he was dressed in red. Yes, de definitely red. Uh, oh, and, and, and a white trim. What are you talking about? Everybody knows what Santa Claus looks like. What kind of security guard doesn't know what Santa Claus looks like? If you don't know what Santa Claus looks like, you ought to turn in your badge. What was that? Uh, 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 nothing. I hope you find him. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and the thousand dollars I had in my wallet. That much? I'll find him. And when you do, I hope he's dealt with in the harshest possible way. Harsh is my middle name. Santa up. 
I'm not Santa! You dim bulbs, look what you did to my van! I'll decorate you! Come here! Come here! Slow down! Before somebody spots us! Get your hands out of the cookie jar! No! You break it, you bought it? No, Reggie! How about playing with toys when you're not supposed to? I don't remember that one. Don't remember having toys when we were kids. I must still be asleep.
You cut it out. Being busted by the cops! Under arrest. Here. Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. Hey! That's police property! <laughs> Looks like I lost them. And look at what I found. <laughs> the road to the North Pole. Looks like things are finally going my way. Do I have to tell you not to call me? Sweeter than 
No. Well, I did what you did. I got just glad it's why I did it. It's unbelievable. I just drive me crazy. I can't believe it. North Pole, here we come. Yeah! <laughs> Hello, Merry Christmas. Hello, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hello, Merry Christmas. You down there, Merry Christmas. A little help up here. Somebody ought to get that Santa fixed. Hello. There it is, the North Pole. <laughs> well, so much for that heist. Things guarded. Under lock and key. Kiss a goodbye. Not a chance. You're coming with me. I got a plan.
seen a reindeer like this before. I'm uh, sorry, but I'm afraid we're close to visitors tonight. Um, we're not visitors. We're elves. Okay, I uh, get the hats, but those shoes, not exactly your standard elf issue. Actually, we're not quite elves, but really want to be elves, elves. But we know just about everything there is to know about Christmas. Except how to do that curly ribbon thingy on packages. We've come to help Santa make Christmas happen. Well, helping Santa make Christmas happen is definitely what we elves do. A bit late in the season for hiring. You say you've had experience with Christmas? Do trees have tinsel? Do sleigh bells jingle? Does Santa go ho, ho, ho? Well, that's not bad for starters. You're probably farther along the road to help them than a lot of people. Psst, hey! Get out there and keep those kids distracted! Huh? How? I don't care how, just keep him away from that elf so I can grab his key! But Move it! Who are you? We're up! Um, yeah, we're up! Are you applying to be elves, too? Oh, yeah! That's right! Sure thing! You bet! Absolutely! Ralphie and Reggie, reporting for elf duty! Oh, can you hire them, too? Please? Santa needs all the help he can get this year. Well, this is highly unusual. Uh... But with all of us on the job, Santa's sure to get the orphan's present delivered. You mean that's why you're here? To give those kids their present? Well, sure. Isn't that why you're here, too? Uh, um... Double-wide butterfly glow-in-the-dark? Can I try it? <laughs> Trot the kitty, zoom to the moon, boxy woxy, and ring around the Saturn. Hey, thanks. I always wanted to try one of these. Can you teach me to do that? Sure. All you have to do is... Uh, excuse me. We don't have a lot of time before Santa has to take off. And there are a series of tests we give before we hire an elf to separate the good elves from the bad. What kind of tests? Well, like, how are you at decorating Christmas trees? We rock! Putting up lights is something I do every year with my mom and dad. We always wanted to do that! Well, now's your chance. Show me what you can do with this one. That's what we elves would call festive. Peppermint frosting! Oh, oh, these are going on Santa's must-have beside the fireplace list. The triple chocolate chip was mine, but these guys had the idea for the frosting. 
What do you think? Well, that's beautiful. How are these? Did we do that? I see some real talent here. <laughs> Me neither! Do you guys have some kind of special ribbon up here, or what? I suppose you might say a lot of things up here are special. Well, you're all looking to me like elf material. <laughs> <laughs> However, before we fit you out for your pointy shoes, there's one last thing we'll need to uh, sort of check out. How are you with reindeer? They are Santa's reindeer, and I'll need to see how you get along with them. You see, elves and reindeer, uh, well, we're sort of like, um... Milk and cookies? Trees and tinsel? Exactly. Elves and toys? Why, yes, yes, very good. Yes, very good. <sighs> Well, that's why they call him Prancer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hang on, I'll be right there. These new recruits. be the best Christmas I ever had. And don't call me until after New Year's. Wowzer Bowser, is the big guy on a sugar lure or what? Sounds like somebody needs a milk and cookie intervention. Fine! 
Thanks for the advice. Now, would you let me take care of this present? Hmm? Santa's had a long day. Well, sure, Santa. Um, Merry Christmas? I get the weirdest feeling that I'm on someone's naughty list. You ever hear of Santa being so not jolly? Wait a minute. Ever hear of Santa delivering presents without his reindeer and sleigh? Yeah, something's not right. Hold it! Right there! No! No! <gasps> what are you doing with Santa? Him? <laughs> Santa Claus? <laughs> He's a crook who was trying to steal that kitty car. And he's gonna wish he'd gone to jail. But who's gonna deliver the orphan's Christmas present? Oh, uh, no. This car's gotta go to headquarters. Yeah, to be dusted for fingerprints. Evidence. No, no! I can explain! This is the best Christmas we ever had! This is the worst Christmas we ever had! All the way to the North Pole, and for what? To find out Santa's a fake! What? Boss! Honest! The police Boss, are taking him to jail! Lucky I saw it on the news! A million bucks! And you were just gonna drive off with it! No! And now the orphans won't get their present! Boss! Honest! Boss, I was gonna split it with you! Ah. Them! They're the ones! Boss! It was all their idea! No, it was Santa! I mean, Max! I'll give you two clowns one chance not to wind up hanging from my Christmas tree, along with Santa here. Well done, boys. By the time they get out of there, Christmas will be over. And we'll be long gone. I might even make you head of my gang, once I get rid of Santa here. Them? <laughs> Boss, I taught them everything they know! Oh, really? Come on, let's get out of this styrofoam snow park. I've had my fill of holiday cheer. How could you guys do this? I thought we were yo-yo buddies. Yo, yo, buddies? <laughs> it figures. Fake elves. Next thing we'll find out they're not Dasher and Prancer and Donner and Blitzen. Yeah, like they're really Frank and Fritz and Joey and Sam. Um, no, they really are Dasher and Prancer and... Um, look, okay, this may not be the real North Pole, but like you said earlier, Santa needs all the help he can get this year. He even sent his real reindeer to this elf recruitment center to help me train new elves. I wish. What are you doing back here? Yeah, aren't you supposed to be with your peeps? We made a mistake. We gotta get that present back and get it delivered to the orphans. They're just trying to trick us again. Why would you give up your fabulous life of crime? And a million dollars. To give a Christmas present to a bunch of kids? Cause you gave us what we always wanted. A real Christmas. What happened to your boys? Get power! They gotta be kidding.
deal with that. They can fly. You have the right to remain gift wrapped. If you so desire and do not have one, a color coordinated stick on bow will be provided for you. Hey, why don't you bust them too? They were in on the whole thing. Yeah. It was all their idea. Is that true? Officer, I don't know what they're talking about. All I know is I've hired these guys. Full-time reindeer trainers. Starting the day after Christmas, I'll be taking these new elves to their new jobs at the real North Pole. No, oh, certainly. Whatever you say, they're all yours. For real? Well, let's see. Pointy shoes, good with toys, hearts that have the spirit of Christmas. That's an elf in my book. Not to mention, just the right size for a standard issue elf suit. But if that guy was a fake Santa, where's the real Santa? Just like every Christmas Eve, he's getting ready to take off on his flight around the world. Um, do you know if... Uh, I mean, do you think he'll visit... us? Do trees have tinsel? Do sleigh bells jingle? Does Santa go ho, ho, ho? Hey, maybe this time Brad will get to see him. I'll, um, be happy to put in that recommendation. Uh-oh. Gran! Yeah, better get back before she wakes up and finds out we're gone. And we really wind up on the naughty list. We'll give you a ride home. Listen, I'm... I'm really sorry. You are? About what? Well, back there a while ago, you said this is the worst Christmas you'd ever had. Did we say that? Gee, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's been pretty... different? Special? Yeah, like... The best Christmas we ever had! Well... You know what we always say at the North Pole. You don't always get what you want. But sometimes, if you make the best of what you've got, you can get something even better. Merry Christmas! Thank you! Bye! <laughs> Never even knew we were gone. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Gran. We love you. At a loss to explain. John, we were right.
right here at Summer House. All the kids are asleep. We turned off our cameras for... It wasn't even a minute. And when we came back, there it was. The kid-sized car with a million dollars in the trunk. No idea how it got here. Well, hello. You've reached, uh, me. Grant, it's Yasin's mom. Listen, we're on our way home. The storm stopped a minute ago, like, well, like magic. We're taking off right now. Don't tell the girls we're coming. Let it be a surprise. When they wake up, we'll be there. Merry Christmas, Grant. Oh, my. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! 